Hello and welcome to the news update on Enterprise Television. I'm Chinyere Igwe Odu. Edo State has a new deputy governor. He is Godwin Omobayo, a 38-year-old engineer. He was sworn in at the Edo Government House in Benin City, the state capital, a few hours after the impeachment of Philip Schweibel following the adoption of the report of a seven-man investigative panel. Born on July 19, 1986, Omobayo hails from Akoko, Edo, local government area of the state. He holds a bachelor's degree in electrical electronics and a master's degree in public administration from the University of Bini, Uniben. The impeached deputy governor, Philip Schweibel, was accused of misconduct, perjury, and disclosure of government secret. He fell out with Obaseki after he showed interest in contesting the governorship election. The Kenya Special Offenses Court on Monday remanded the embattled former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefele, in the custody of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission after he took his plea over alleged abuse of office and allocation of $4.5 billion and 2.8 billion naira. Emefele, who was earlier arraigned alongside his co-defendant, Ban Henry Isioma Omole, on fresh 26 counts before Justice Raman Oshodi, pleaded not guilty to the charges against him. The defendant's lawyer, Labo Lawal, pleaded with the court to grant MFL a bail in self-recognizance and allow him to continue with the bail earlier granted him by the Abuja court. He also urged the court to grant the second defendant bail earlier granted him by Justice Sule Hamzat. The, prosec the prosecution counsel, Rotimi Oyedipo, SAN, did not oppose the bail applications, but after listening to the submissions of both counsel, Justice Oshodi remanded Emefele in EFCC custody and the second defendant in the Koyi Correctional Center. The case was adjourned to April 11 for ruling on the bill and commencement of trial. And outside Nigeria, eclipse watchers have their eyes on the weather in light of a solar eclipse that plunges a wide strip of North America into daytime darkness on Monday. Forecasters are predicting cloudy conditions in northern Mexico Texas and parts of the Great Lake region. Better weather is expected in western Mexico and parts of the U.S. Midwest. And some of the best viewing is likely to be on the clear spring skies in the New England and Canada. Starting in the Pacific Ocean, the eclipse will become visible on the coast of Mexico near the city of Mazatlan at about seven minutes after 1900 BST. Jurgen Klopp has warned Manchester United they will get beaten by Arsenal next month if they play like they did against his Liverpool side. Klopp urged Liverpool to stay calm after losing the Premier League leadership this weekend following a 2-2 draw at Old Trafford on Sunday. United could yet help Klopp's side as they host Arsenal, the new leaders, on the season's penalty mid-weekend. However, Klopp fears United need to up their game if they are to hold Michael, Mikel Atata's men. And that's the news at this time. Remember, you can follow us on all our social media platforms at Enterprise TV 7. And do log on to our website at www.enterprisetvnews.com. On behalf of the entire team, I'm Chinyere Igwe Odu. Thanks for your time. Enterprise TV, a tradition of truth.